In this tutorial, we're going to look at the unroll command in Rhino. So in, uh, for this example, let's go ahead and make a solid box. Now the unroll command, you just select an object, type in unroll, and it will unroll that three-dimensional object into a two-dimensional flat object. Um, the unroll command only works on developable surfaces, so that, um, in this case, if it unrolls the object, um, it keeps the dimensional accuracy of the three-dimensional object. So if I were to laser cut it or print it out and cut it out by hand and fold it back together, it would fold into the original three-dimensional object. So um, a few options here when you unroll. The first is you can explode the option, object if you want, and that will break that object or box into all its different planes and then scatter them about. In this case, we want to keep them connected, so we're going to say no. If you want to use labels, that'll help you understand which face connects to which face. So if you fold it back, it's um, very clear. In this case, I don't need that. So I'll go ahead and hit Enter. You can see it then unfolds that geometry um, into a two-dimensional flat shape. So again, if I laser cut that or print that, I can fold it back into this box um, in the real world. Um, sometimes your objects are not developable, so they might have a doubly curved surface, in which case unroll won't work. So if I go ahead and create a sphere over here um, and I intersect that sphere with this object, let me just move that around a little bit, um, and then boolean these objects. So I have this kind of inner surface that's doubly curved. If I try to unroll this object, it's going to tell me that unrolling doubly curved surfaces will produce inaccurate results. So they will not be dimensionally accurate. Um, there is an option in Rhino to use um, the squish command, and squish will unroll the surface, but it won't be dimensionally accurate. So if you print it out or laser cut it, you can then fold it back into its correct shape. It'll be close, but it won't be exact. It tries to do the best it can at unrolling the surface and keeping it accurate, but it does um, have to do some adjustments to the surface, and it deviates from the exact original surface. So just keep that in mind. So if I squish this object, there are some options similar to unroll here. In this case, I'm just going to select that inner surface, hit enter, and it will unroll that inner surface. So again, not exact, but pretty close. One nice thing with squish is if I draw, for example, a circle on this surface, and I select both of these and I type in squish, there's an option here to squish back. So what this will do is take that circle and apply it to the original surface that I squished. So if I select that, you can then see it puts that circle on that surface inside of that um, Boolean object. So that's a really neat option within the squish command. Um, there's also one called smash. This is kind of uh, outdated uh, command at this point, but smash was a precursor to squish and does something similar but not quite as well. So you can try smash and then hit enter. It'll ask you um, how devi what the deviation can be and then it will unroll that surface. So again similar, not quite as accurate, but another option for you.